Hello everybody, I'm so excited that it's my turn to read a Christmas story for you and from me to you, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. I'm going to read Little Robin Redvest and it's a lovely new story that I've discovered and I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Once upon a time, there was a little brown bird. His name was Robin and this is his story. It was the week before Christmas and little Robin was getting very excited. He washed and ironed seven warm vests for the frosty days ahead. He put on a white vest and set out to skate on the pond. There are all his vests in a row. And there he is in his white one, admiring himself in the mirror. On the way he met Frog. I'm so cold, said Frog. Can you help? There's his froggy friend. And he's shivering. He's so cold. Little Robin gave Frog his white vest. I've still got six vests left, he thought, as Frog hopped off happily. Six days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his green vest and dashed out to play in the snow. Down the path came Hedgehog. I'm freezing, she said. Look how happy Frog is. But he's met another cold friend. Little Robin gave Hedgehog his green vest. I've still got five vests left, he thought, waving goodbye to his prickly friend. And look how happy his friend looks. Five days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his pink vest and went to look for worms. He hadn't gone far when Mole appeared. Brrr, the ground's too hard to dig. I'm chilly, he complained. So Little, Ro Little Robin gave his pink vest to Mole. It was a bit tight, but Mole didn't mind. It was nice and warm. Four vests left, thought Little Robin. And there he is, squeezing Mole into his tiny jumper. Super cosy. Four days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his yellow vest and flew up to sit on the tall oak tree. Where he met Squirrel. I'm so cold I can't sleep, Squirrel grumbled. Little Robin handed over his yellow vest. Only three vests left now, he thought, as Squirrel dozed off. Here's Squirrel all cold. And then he's all cosy. And now he can get a good sleep for the winter. Three days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his blue vest. He was swooping down through the clouds when he saw Rabbit on the hill. I'm so cold, my teeth are chattering, shivered Rabbit. And there is Rabbit there. It's a very snowy Christmassy scene, isn't it? Little Robin gave Rabbit his blue vest. I've still got two vests left, he said to himself, as Rabbit went cheerfully on his way. Rabbit's putting the, this jumper in a very strange place. On his ears. Two days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his purple vest and skipped along the river bank. Next to the river stood Otter with her baby. She was very unhappy. My baby is poorly, she said. And here is Otter with her baby. Little Robin's purple vest was just the right for Baby Otter and made him feel much better. Oh dear, I've only one vest left, thought Little Robin. But look how happy the Baby Otter is. On the day before Christmas, Little Robin put on his very last vest, a warm orange one. He'd been walking and whistling to himself for some time when he met a little mouse shivering in the garden. Little Robin felt so sorry for her that he took off his last woolly vest and pulled it over her chilly ears. Now it was late on in Christmas Eve, the snow was falling and poor little Robin had nothing warm to wear. Here he is giving away his last vest to his friend the mouse. There was nobody around him to help and it was a long way home. He fluffed up his feathers as best he could and huddled miserably on a snowy roof. Soon he fell fast asleep. Not even the sleigh bells woke him. And here he is on the roof, all alone, 
with no vest. The crunch of snow didn't wake him either. Large hands scooped little Robin up and tucked him into a soft white beard. Can you guess who this is going to be? You had better come with me, my lad, chuckled a gruff, jolly voice. Let's see if you guess correctly. There we go, there's a clue. And then, yes, the main man himself, Santa Claus, we hope. This is the generous little fellow I told you about, the man said to his wife. He must have a be a, I must have a very special present then, she replied. And with little Robin snug and cosy in her lap, the lady set to work. She pulled a thread from a big, bright red coat. Hmm, I wonder where they would get a big, bright red coat from. And there she is. There he is down there, little Robin. Getting a present made for him. She pulled a thread from the big bright red coat and with it she knitted a tiny vest. It was a perfect fit for a little bird. I'm very proud of you, said the man with a smile. You gave away all your warm clothes to other people. You are full of the spirit of Christmas. Now it's time for your present. This is a very, very special vest. It will keep you warm forever. And when other people see you, it will make them feel warm too. It was time to go, back across the skies as the sun rose to kiss the land. Little Robin was very happy. His chest glowed red as a reindeer's nose. Soon Little Robin was home. Merry Christmas, cried the man as he flew off. Goodbye and thank you, Little Robin shouted back. And here is the man flying off. I wonder who we all think he is. It was Christmas morning. Boys and girls everywhere were opening their presents. Little Robin flew to the very highest branch, proudly wearing his new red vest, and sang out sweetly to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And here he is. And there we go, Little Robin Red Vest. And I would like to wish all of you a very, very Merry Christmas.